Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Rex Furry here, back with another game tutorial, and let's start this video off by minimizing this. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it's been quite a while since my last tutorial, and I do apologize for that. Um, basically, I've just been pretty busy lately, and I know I say that a lot in my, uh, my other videos, but it is true, I do have a lot going on usually, but uh, now, it's since it's summer break, at least for me it is, um, I hopefully won't have as much going on, but we definitely will see about that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, getting into the uh, tutorial here, because uh, I don't have a mile-long intro or whatever, um, I'm going to show you guys how to create shooting in your game today. And before, um, basically, before you see all these different events and everything and want to exit the video, let me just tell you really quick, we're not going to be needing all these different um, events and everything, probably only like four or five of them, or maybe even less. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, let me just tell you really quick, give you guys a brief overview of what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. Alright, so first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to create or basically make your player shoot left, right, both when he or she is jumping in the air and walking on the ground, okay? And I'm going to be showing you guys that uh, by use of using basically ammo boxes, which uh, basically that what that means is when your player is walking and he collides with the ammo box or whatever, um, he will pick up some ammo and be able to shoot, and when he basically runs out of ammo, he'll need to go and collide with the ammo box again to get more ammo and be able to shoot again. Alright? And, uh, also I'll be able to, or showing you guys how to be able, um, to make your player, um, basically shoot down, like, objects, like, uh, when the bullet or whatever, uh, basically collides with a, uh, box or the ground or whatever, um, it will be able to destroy that. Alright? So those are all the things that I'm going to be going over in this tutorial. All right, and um, yeah, I guess with that in mind, let's go ahead and begin this tutorial. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is, um, I'll, oh yeah, really quick, I have all these things basically already made out um, for the sake of time in this tutorial and stuff, so yeah. All right, so you can just follow along. <laughs> okay, so first thing you're going to need is um, basically a player that has a sprite of him or her that jumping up in the air facing left, which basically I just use this little sprite that I drew like really quickly, um, both for the walking and the jumping. And so basically this is the uh, sprite of her jumping left. All right, and this is the sprite of her jumping right. I just copied and pasted it, uh, copied and pasted it, and then I just flipped it. Okay, and the same goes for the walking. I just have a little sprite thing of her walking left. And the same thing of her, uh, uh, of her walking right. All right, and you also want a sprite of them just idle when they're not moving at all, um, both facing left and right as well. Okay, all right, and next thing you're going to need is a sprite of a ground. So basically just some little ground thing. I just did this really quick. Alright, and a uh, ammo box sprite. So basically what your cl uh, character is going to collide with um, basically to collect more ammo or bullets or whatever. And finally, the bullet sprite. What your character is going to be shooting out. Alright, and there we go. Okay, and obviously you want to just make objects of all those really quick. As seen here and put them all in a room and stuff and set it all up and uh... yeah n after that let's go ahead and uh... go ahead uh, you can go ahead and uh... follow along with this uh... this part of the tutorial uh... sorry i'm a bit off today guys i have some allergies and um, it's just they're just acting up a little bit and i'm kind of tired right now so uh... so yeah alright so anyway uh... back to the tutorial here um, in your player object, uh, whatever it is called, uh, obj underscore players, what mine's called, um, you're basically going to want to have a create event, and in that create event, you're going to want to click and drag over from the main one tab, a change sprite. All right. Whoa. All right. And in the change sprite, you're going to want it to uh, change into your player sprite that's just idle or not moving to uh, the right, facing the right. You could do it to the left too. It doesn't really matter. All right. And then you want to go to the control tab, click and drag over a variable, or a set variable rather. And for the variable, we're just going to call this ammo, all right? And set the value to zero. 
And basically, this is just a variable that uh, holds the uh, the ammo box or controls the ammo box or whatever. Um, basically, this is the variable that's going to um, uh, basically get your uh, ammo box started up and everything. Um, so yeah, we'll 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 see more of this later. All right, and let's go ahead and do switch. No, okay, we don't we don't we, uh, we don't need to use this. So yeah, let's just go ahead and skip down. Um, gravity, da, 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 okay, we don't really need to use this either. Um, this is just basically, um, how I have this set up, um, so my player will, like, uh, basically, th this, basically, um, for just for the gravity and to, uh, set some of the sprite things straight. You don't need to have this. Alright. And the next thing is, um, basically this is just my collision with the ground, so I don't need this. All right, and here we go. The collision with the uh, ammunition box thing. So you want to go out of van, collision with your ammo box that you've created. All right, and you want to go ahead and go to set variable again. And this time we're going to go ammo again, but the value is going to be 20 and relative is going to be checked. So this is basically going to give us or saying how much ammo we're getting when we pick up the ammo box, how many bullets we're going to be able to shoot once we uh, pick up the uh, ammo from it or from the ammo box. Okay, so I just said 20 bullets, or whatever. All right, and then we're going to go to the main one uh, tab, click over a destroy instance, and go other. All right, so basically um, other stands for whatever you're colliding with at the time. So obviously the player is colliding with the ammunition box, and so it's going to be destroyed because it's the basically what the player is colliding with at the time. Okay, and basically the left is um, uh, just basically my movement. Um, but, just a second here, uh, okay, yeah, we're not going to need to do this, so this is just my movement, uh, don't, don't fret about that, uh, this is just my outside room thing, so when you're outside the room, you stop, you do not need to put this in, um, do, 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 okay, so, um, basically, if you already have your own system set up for when, um, your player switches like the sprites and everything when you walk left and right and, and jump and stuff. You don't need to do this, but if you don't, um, you can either go to the left, um, like whatever you have for moving left, and click and drag over a sprite that says like make it so your player is like moving to the like sprite that is facing left is like activated. So like when you move left, your player that like your left player sprite will activate and it will look like you're moving left and stuff but I already have it for the uh, press left thing so yeah alright and the next thing is to do your jumping I already have jumping set up um, it's really simple though you don't really want to do it like this um, so yeah you're not going to need to do this um, if you already have your jumping system set up okay and here is what we are going to need alright so this looks a little complicated but it's really not um, I will go over it and uh, explain how it works. All right, and I know there are some simpler, um, basically shooting things that you could do, um, but I just this is the way I've done it, and I just never really bothered to find another way or change it rather. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with this uh, this here. So this test variable. So basically, um, where you can find that is in the control tab next to set variable. It's called test variable. Okay, and for, um, basically applies to just keep itself and the variable type in ammo. That's our ammo variable that we uh, have been using and value is zero larger than. So if we have more bullets basically um, than zero, so like one or whatever, um, then all this different stuff will happen. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to this test variable under this starter block here. All right, so variable and then sprite index and then basically it's checking where like basically which right or whatever it, and uh, value SPR player L so that's my player that is move or just standing just facing to the left um, you can just put whatever um, your uh, sprite name is that is uh, facing to the left so it might be like player left or whatever all right and equal to so basically if um, if your um, do if your sprite is like the uh, the sprite of your player or whatever that's facing left, 
um, is like active, if it's like there or whatever, um, then this is going to happen when you press the Z key. Okay. So um, for the object, we're going to go ahead and put and about. Oh, by the way, you can find this in um, the uh, main one tab. Just click and drag over the create moving. All right. And what we want to do is um, for the object, select our bullet object. All right, um, and for the X and Y, basically, you can just toggle around with these a little bit. Um, it's basically setting where the uh, bullet's going to come out of, like from your player or whatever. Um, you you can try 5 and 15, because <laughs> this is a 32 by 32 sprite, um, but it varies on your sprite. So basically, this is just saying when you shoot, what part of your sprite it's going to come out of, okay? A or be created from, or at, I guess. And the speed, um, this is how fast the bullet's going to come out, like how fast it's going to move as soon as it comes out. All right, so I just put a speed of 12. Uh, direction, put 180. That is basically going to the um, left, right? Yeah, it's, it's the left. All right, and check relative. Okay, and so basically that's saying when you press the Z key and you're uh, basically facing to the left, um, and you have like you have more than zero ammo, so you have like at least some ammo with you. Um, it's going to basically shoot a bullet out of your player or whatever. Okay, and the next thing is pretty much the same thing except for it is for your um, sprite index, and then um, it's for your sprite of your player that's walking to the left. Um, now you don't really need to have this. You can just have like. Um, if you're if your player if you're like making like a little cube guy or something and his uh, walking as well as his just standing still, um, left sprite are the same. You can just like um, not put this and this and just have this. So yeah. But if your player is like a walking animation, you're gonna want to have this. All right. So yeah, same thing except for you substitute the um, the just your players uh, that's standing to the left. Um, for your player that's walking to the left. Okay, and mine is called, um, obviously, uh, SBR underscore player WL for walking left, and equal to, and again, the same exact thing, OBJ bullet, all that, all, all that cool stuff. All right, now for the right, um, basically you want to do the same thing, sprite index, SBR player R, whatever your um, player sprite is, that is facing, just facing and standing to the right. All right, equal to. And then below that, we're just going to pretty much do the same thing, um, OBJ bullet, except for X equals zero, or, well, you can toggle th with that um, to see, you know, where your bullet comes out at and where you want it. Um, and then the speed, 12, but direction, we want zero. Okay? And relative is checked. And player WR for walking right. It's basically pretty much the same thing as all the others. And same thing as the... Um, uh, as a standing right or whatever. Okay, and player j uh, JR, which is basically jumping right, obviously same thing. And when you're jumping, you just want to have pretty much the same um, stuff as when you're standing and walking right. And same thing for jumping to the left. You just want to put the sprite of your player jumping to the left and all that cool stuff, except for, yeah, it's the same thing as the left stuff. So 5, 12, or 15, 12, 180. Um, by the way, you can still mess around with these X and Y coordinates um, to your liking. Okay. And finally, I go to back to the control tab. Click and drag over a set variable. And variable ammo and value negative 1, all right, and relative. So b basically it's saying every time you uh, shoot, it's going to minus um, a uh, bullet from y your current ammo. And end a block. All right, and so you do not need to do this. All right, so overall, all we need to do was the uh, key press Z, the ammunition, and the create. All right, so now we'll go ahead and go into the, um, not the ground. Um, basically, the ground is um, whatever you want to do for the ground. Um, it's not really, it's it doesn't really matter what it is for the short. All right, but the ammunition, however, um, basically, the only thing you need to do is just name it like whatever you want to, and then make sure it is checked visible, obviously. And the bullet, um, this, is just, uh, this is just a really quick thing, and um, you don't need to put this; it's just extra. All right. 
So um, basically, you can go to add event and collision with your ground object or whatever object you want your bullet to be able to destroy when it collides with it. All right, you can go to collision with it, and then go to destroy instance, other, or wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and you want to go to self first of all. And I can't believe I actually forgot to do that. So basically, it's when it collides with the ground, it, the bullet's going to destroy itself. It's not going to keep going on unless you want it to keep doing that. Um, then you could also do destroy instance other, which would mean it's going to destroy one of, like, it's basically going to destroy um, the ground thing or whatever. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that once I click OK here. And then finally, outside of room, when you go to other outside of room, destroy instance self <coughs> so it doesn't keep continuing on and yeah all right so basically um, ba what's gonna happen is when I shoot or when I collect basically th when I collide with this ammo box I'm going to be able to shoot like 20 bullets and when I shoot um, the ground it's going to collide with the ground here and it's going to basically um, destroy itself as well as the ground like this so yeah all right, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you this in action here. Let me just go ahead and switch to another screen. So hang on a second. Hey guys, we're back. Let's go ahead and minimize this really quick. All right, there we are. So as you can see, we have our little player here. She can move left and, uh, and right here. And when she stops moving, she just like stops and she can jump and all that different stuff. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to do this if you like don't know. Um, like. So, yeah, if you want to go check that out, because um, it is pretty cool, and it does tie in a bit with this tutorial. Um, but anyway, if you have your own kind of way, you don't need to go and uh, do it my way. But anyway, let's go ahead and let me get this mouse out of the way here. All right, so as you can see, we can't shoot right now. I'm pressing the Z key, and uh, it doesn't really do anything. So uh, let's go ahead and collide with this ammo box here. All right, now when I press the Z key, you can see I actually have some bullets there, and I can go ahead and jump. Let me just go ahead and show you guys really quick, and, and shoot at the same time. All right, and you can also see um, it gets it basically shoots away the wall as well um, when I shoot the bullets. So that's pretty cool. And after 20 bullets, um, there we go. We have shot 20 bullets. Um, we can't shoot any more because we're now out of bullets, and we would have to go and collect another ammo box to get more and refill. So, yeah, that is basically a simple way to uh, on how to create shooting in Game Maker. Um, there are many more ways, but this is just one way I found and I, I really like. So, yeah, um, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe for upcoming content and such. And, uh, <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, yeah, this has been Rex Fur, I guess, with another game tutorial. I will try to make more as soon as I can, but until then, I guess um, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and until uh, next time, I guess, see you guys later. <laughs> Alright, well, goodbye guys, and have a great day.